What's up guys, Dearest Techniques here and we're back with another video. In this video I'll be showing you how to make a simple trap beat in FL20. Let's go, let's just get right into it. Firstly you wanna go to your channel rack and then you wanna pull through and go to load sample with go to the file where you have saved your samples i'm gonna use, be using the mob time and the beats we'll be making is like an old but like new trap type of beats i'll show you what i mean so once you have this down you can click on this and then listen to how it sounds all right so we're gonna um Tap on it once, click on it right, uh, go to edit, and then we're gonna open up Edison. Once it's like this, you can just easily add it, make it sound better, but I'm just gonna take it as it is, and then I'm just gonna place it on the playlist. Once it's on the playlist, we have to switch to the playlist so it can play on the playlist and not on the channel rack, right? and then you can press space and the song plays. So, you wanna fix this make sure it's on a proper number or it will sound properly as you can see if i drag it it's gonna skip over seven but no worries go back to your channel rec i'm gonna click this and then make sure you can see this at first so zoom out a bit so you can see what you're doing and then you're gonna go click on channel rec again and then click on the one that's open and then you're gonna adjust time till it fits properly but then it's gonna also change the speed of the sample it's gonna sound something like this sounds a bit slower and that's what we kind of want but it's okay for now we don't really need it to be extremely fast right, for, for this video we're gonna be using six up to six and then we're gonna lower the pitch so i'm gonna take it back down to six and then i'm gonna lower the pitch like very low and let that load and A bit too fast so i think i'm gonna take it back to seven i think that's a good number okay i like six six sounds way better so once this is done um you have your your, your basic melody you can go ahead and delete this and you can go ahead and press ctrl l ctrl l to place it ctrl z ctrl whatever but you can just place it in a in a mixer by just clicking or sliding with your mouse cruiser and you'll go to one and you'll find it in the mixer so while we're on the mixer you want to go ahead and click on the main on the main mixer and then you want to go to replace you know go to soft clipper and then you want to maximize this you'll see i'll tell you the reason later when we're adding the drum kit after this go back to your channel rack add another sample um now we're not going to be using sample but we're going to be making the actual physical beat using drum um drum kits and all that so open that up go to the drum kit file you have for this one i'm gonna start with the grims i'm gonna be using maya's kit maya actually sorry i think let's do snares yeah uh let's do snares and then i'll open these um then for every you go to piano roll actually you go to c5 c5 is the default if you tap on the keyboard it's it's the default so you wanna um open that wide and then listen to the beat as you make the beat but before you do that you see you won't be able to see what you're editing so you want to go ahead and click two and then add this double click it and then piano roll and then piano roll again and then now if you add something and then you play it will actually play on the on the playlist so let me quickly adjust this okay, it's not sounding exactly how i want to sound so i'm gonna click the magnets here and then i'll make these bars a bit um smaller so i can actually see more lines so yeah all right so once you have your basic rim shot snare and then you wanna edit it make sure it sounds perfect mine is a bit 
of Okay, that's a bit better but it's just for the sake of the video i'm gonna make it really quick you wanna press control control left click and then you wanna hold it down and select everything shift and then you slide it over and then it'll save you time when editing or when placing more more instrumentals so just make sure that's in line off right there exactly what we want so once you have that you know go back to your playlist and you can see it is automatically edited and everything is going well once that is there you want to get some hi-hats well to do this you go back to the same steps add a sample Add a sampler, place it in a mixer, and then load a sample. So, for the snares, we're gonna look for a hat. Yeah, this is so. This is all we need, and then simple hi hats. Nothing too too much. Just a uh, simple pattern that I can do for you right here. So I'm gonna go to piano roll, and then I'm gonna do the the. the but I always, I always forget this. Before you start a new sampler, I always go to the mixer, to the playlist, and then add a whatever these are called. And then you just double tap, open piano roll, do it a second time, and then it's gonna open again. Let me do the simple. Oh yes, before you actually start adding, make sure your magnet is back to main, or it'll just un messed up in, as of when <laughs> when you do the final copy. So I have layered the pa the patterns, and then um, this is how it sounds like. Then a bit of editing should make everything sound perfect, but I'll do that towards the end as I finish up the beat. And then I got a sampler, which would be Wonder East Kick, but I think I'm gonna start with a with a 808 and then copy 808 and then put it into the kick and then uh, mix it up a bit to make it sound more interesting so we're gonna load a sample and we're gonna get an 808 for this video I'll be using Metro Southside the Metro Southside is so sounds good um and then I'm gonna take my piano roll and you can always edit from here but it doesn't give you as many options if you know what you're doing but you can just play around with that as a beginner like what i did oh just go to the pro side and just learn using piano roll c5 is our main and we're gonna start with let me make a quick um rhythm yeah something definitely does not sound right I think okay yeah, that's way better okay so I got a good 8 to 8 simple Simple, simple <laughs> air raid. I don't know if you're mixing using C6 and all that. I mean, yeah, you can do that, but it sounds something like this. It'll sound something like this. But like, uh, I want to use slides instead of that. A bit better because it's something like it kind of like smoothes into the beat you feel me and like it's not too much and it's just like you know really really it just really sounds good so i'm gonna put some slides on top and then i think that's it that's all i need and if you're wondering how i slid the beat i went up to this icon right over here and i just clicked the 
icon and then every time I add one it has these this symbol inside and it should like slide my mouse is running out of battery okay it's working okay. the simple 808 and then to edit into the kick I'm gonna go to the channel rack I'm gonna go no pattern first go to five back to the playlist and then I'm gonna add the kick it's already there so I'm just gonna go back to pattern four I'm gonna copy this and then add it into the kick and then take out some of the the top part because it you don't have it it won't have an effect but just to make sure the beat sounds okay and then I'm gonna take out the first two so the 808 kicks in and then it has like a late kick or uh, whatever it's called That sounds good already but i'm gonna make the kick hit really hard so it's right in it's insert four so i'm gonna put this way up i'm gonna go to the to the um plugins and add a fruity soft clipper no not a soft clipper uh replace this with a fruit compressor and then i'm gonna add some gain and if we add a lot of gain, listen to this, it's gonna really sound hard as the kick hits in. Kinda cancels out everything else in the beat, so just like a good 1.1 should really, 1.1 should really like give the beat a really good kick to it. And then you also wanna increase the 808s. Now you see the beat is not distorted or anything because of the soft clipper we added it's gonna make sure everything is below or whatever however however it works it's just gonna make sure your 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 808 and it and kicks don't overlap the the um sample that we used and the hi-hats and everything else that's the main purpose of a free of a fruity soft clipper once it's there you basically have your beat now it's just effects and voiceovers that you can add and fx's that to make it more interesting but as it is it's already kind of complete so now i want to add a uh a supporting melody and i can just easily clone this to reduce the amount of time needed to start making a new one once it's cloned um again i'm gonna take it to edison send it send it send it to the playlist and once it's at the playlist um i can start i'm a, i'm a, i can start um what you call this putting it properly and sorting out the playlist making it sound amazing so let me quickly do that but i want to show you another trick using the sample so once the sample is here i'm gonna take these all over here no not here but like maybe somewhere way over here for now and then only leave the samples and then i'm gonna take one of the samples that's that and the new sample that we cloned i'm gonna double click this and decrease the pitch as well and then increase the the, the, the size to make it last longer so it'll sound something like this Now it's, it's very slow and that's like a intro type of vibe and then you, once that um once that ends the beat drops basically so it's gonna sound something like this That's basically it. Now I'm gonna finish this video by 
showing you the final result as I edit everything and like put everything in the playlist properly. Alright, so this is the final product. I have set up everything. Yes, it looks very different because I did a lot. And what I really did was this is our main melody. This is the um the unedited one and this is a bit of a mix to it. It's gonna sound like this. And then um, there's also these, uh, what are these called, vocals, and then there's also my own vocal, not my own, but like my tag. This is how you dream, and there's also a grass, grass beat element that I use to like um, disconnect everything by doing this. You see how the beat like kind of like um stops by itself like not stop but like slide and like stop by itself whatever it's called disc slide whatever i use grass speed for that and then i kind of like copied and paste most of these things just to save time and i also Damn. cut the beats a beats cut the beats a beats yeah a bit just to like add some interesting effects to it and then i also added a love filter this is how it will sound like with the love filter kind of like that underwater effect that's what i basically did hey. and then when the beat drops it sounds amazing and as for the final part i just copied and pasted everything else to save time and then I added the tag again and as the beat ends I increased the pitch and then made it sound back to its original and it's gonna sound like this after I did those edits. This is how you dream, bitch. And finally, as the beat comes to a close, I added a automation clip that controls the volume. Basically, you can get this from your mixer. And if you want to know how to get these extra effects or how I did these extra effects, I will make a video coming. And it will explain how I actually added all these filters and automations. But here's the final product. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I've been D-Rose. Peace. <laughs>